Hello everyone, it's Nini and this is a tutorial on how to do these earrings. Um, what you would need is a pair of scissors. You would need your hook and I used a 2.25. I always use a 2.25 on my earrings for some reason. Um, oh, there, 2.25, and I use a bangle, and this is just a regular, you know, small silver bangle, and also you need, you can use either four different colors which on this earring I only use four colors I use red green yellow and black and I just trim the um, the trimming with black so this one I'm gonna use five different colors and I'm gonna do the trimming in a different color so um, so I'm using pink blue green yellow and orange these are good spring colors so I'm going to use these different colors and you can use crochet thread or DNC or um, just crochet thread or so this is what I'm using okay so and also you're going to need your hook of course for your earring and also if you want to use one of these rings alright so let's get started first color I'm going to use is this pink here I gotta remember that the camera part <laughs> is over here on this end okay so you're gonna do a magic circle to begin with and um, I'm going to do one single crochet or one chain, I'm sorry, one chain. And then inside the circle, you're going to do 14 single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So 14 single crochets and then you're going to pull your magic loop together very tightly. Okay, like so. And then you're going to go ahead and join in the first single crochet. I'm going to join. With a slip stitch. There you go, like that. Okay, so the next step, we're going to do one single crochet right here in this, uh, in the next stitch. Um, 
Okay, so for the next row, let me pull this up a little closer. There. Okay, for the next row, the next stitch, you're <clears throat> the next stitch you're gonna do a single crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet, Oops. half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so it should look like this. Alright, so then you're going to pull your thread, make a long little loop here, and tuck it in the back like this. Now we're going to switch colors. So it should look like this, and then we're going to switch colors. So we're going to do, I'll do green. Okay, so you're going to insert your needle inside of this here stitch, the same stitch as the two double crochets. I'm going to insert my needle there, and then I'm going to pull up a loop. So I'm going to wrap my thread around and pull up a loop. Make sure you leave enough tail so you can weave in your uh, ends. So I'm just going to do a single crochet here. Not a single crochet, a chain here. And then that adds my second color. So now I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to crochet over my tail and then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Still crocheting over my tail and then a double crochet in the next two double crochets in the next stitch. One double crochet and two in the same stitch. And then I'm going to pull up a long loop here and tuck it in the back or on the side or back or side, it don't matter. As long as it's out the way. So it should look like this. Sorry about my nail. <laughs> Alright, so the next step, we're going to add another color. So you're going to add all the colors the same way. I'm going to add this yellow. And if you notice, I'm not cutting off the thread or anything. I'm just leaving this long loop here so I can continue the colors all the way around. So I'm going to add this next color right here in the same stitch as the two double crochets. Put my needle in there. Pull a color through. And then I'm going to do a chain to secure. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. Still crocheting over my, my ends here. And 
and then a half double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next and then pull up my loop so I'm gonna add one more color right here and then this time I'm gonna add I guess I'll add the orange let's see I'll do the blue I'll add the blue because we'll do light dark light dark so I'm gonna do the blue I'm gonna add it here Add it right here in the same stitch as my two double crochets. I'm gonna make sure I get my ends together. single crochet in the first stitch half double crochet half double crochet in the next stitch Oops. and two double crochets in the next stitch Okay, I'm going to pull this through. So you should look like this. Now the next step, I'm going to continue this blue all the way to the end here, to the end of this pink. And what I'm going to do is two double crochets in each stitch. To the end of the pink. So two double crochets in each stitch to the end. One, and I'm still crocheting over my ends. Two, next stitch. One. Got caught a little bit there. One, two. And then this last stitch here, one double crochet, two double crochets. And then I'm going to pull a long loop. So it should look like this. So you got two double crochets in each stitch. And what's going to happen is you're going to have 13 sets of two double crochets. So now, right now we have, of each color. So right now we have one, this this is a set of double two double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty
four, five, six sets so far of two double crochets. So what I'm going to do now is this yellow, because I have a lot of this blue area here, I'm going to move to this yellow. And what I'm going to do is... continue this yellow around so I'm going to turn this around to the yellow and I'm going to do two double crochets in each stitch one two and your yarn is going to get tangled so I would just keep untangling it oops I did one in that one so let me go back Got to do two and put another one in here. So let me count, let me count my patches of two double crochets. Okay, because remember what I said, we would have to have 13 of two double, two rows, uh, 13 of two double crochets. So we'll do, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Messed up right there. I only did one. So this is nine. Let me go back. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. So what we did was increase thirteen times. So we have one set of two double crochets, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 sets of two double crochets. So what that is doing is increasing the circle so that we can make it big enough for the earring. Now what I'm going to do is move on to this green one here because we have all the space here to do our 13 sets of two double crochets. So I'm going to turn it around. Now when you're unraveling and uh, the yarn so that it's not getting tangled, make sure you don't pull these loops here because you'll lose your spot and have to do them over. See how this is unraveling here? I just did that. This green one, 
it was just about to unravel so I'm just gonna pull that through I might have to do some over look at this blue here I hate when my yarn does that like this is see how they stopped it and then they had to start it over I don't like when my yarn do that now I have to cut that and try to maneuver around that okay so anyway back to the green all right I'm all tangled here all right so now I'm gonna do my 13 sets of two double crochets I gotta put this one back in because this one unraveled okay so we're gonna start right here in this first stitch this is the chain right okay let me show you guys this is the chain right here this is the chain so you're not going to go into this stitch. You're going to go right here into the first single crochet. So right here is where we're going and start out two double crochets. So we're going to do two, cro two double crochets all the way around till we get 13 sets. Oops. And then I'll I'll just meet you at the end of the thirteen the thirteenth set of two double crochets. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. So I did my thirteen sets of two double crochets here. One, two, I can't even see that. Okay. One, two, three. I gotta spread it out some so I can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so moving right along, we're gonna move to this pink because we have all this space here. So we're going to come back to these ends. So now we're going to do the pink and we're going to do our 13 sets of two double crochets right along here. So turn it around to the pink and all these little ends you can just tuck behind. Don't let it get in your way. <clears throat> there all right so we're going to start out two double crochets in this first stitch here Sorry, I keep moving from out of the camera. It's hard to crochet behind the camera. So please excuse me. So I'm going to continue to do my two double crochets right on around to 13. And, um,. As you can see, your spiral is just going right around here. So, I'll meet you at the end of the 13 two double crochets. So, what you're going to do is continue to do the same. So, you're going to do, after you do this pink area here, get to your 13 two double crochets, you're going to continue to the blue and go right around and do your 13 sets of two double crochets and then I'll meet you at the end okay all right okay so now I did all my uh, 
13 rolls of or 13 sets of two double crochets in every color so now here and this is where see this is the back area here and then you have like these little I always crochet all the way until I can't crochet no more over my ends and this was that ugly little piece that was on my um my yarn so I'm just gonna cut this off at the end so okay so this was the last one was the blue so I'm gonna turn over here to the yellow and, and you know what I can just continue with the blue I'm gonna do I'm gonna continue with the blue and then next you're gonna do nine double crochets in each stitch so one in each stitch and you're gonna do nine so one double crochet here two and then the second one in the next stitch three four five six oops seven eight nine so you did nine double crochets in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then next you're gonna do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. And then a slip stitch in the next stitch. There. And that completes your round. So you're going to do uh, one chain and then you're going to go ahead and end it off. So I'm going to cut and make sure you leave enough yarn so that you can weave in your, your ends here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off right here. And I'm going to finish this off. Pull it through. And then that, that ends that round. So you're going to move on to the next color, which is the pink. Right here. And you're going to do the same thing. Nine double crochets in each stitch. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, And then you're going to do a, <clears throat> the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. And then you're going to do a single crochet. Slip stitch in the next one. And end it off. So you're going to. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I done ran out of space in my in my camera so I had to go get another sim card and not sim card but uh you know another little disc to put in there okay so I'm back so now the next I finished this off the pink off so now I'm gonna do the green I'm gonna do nine double crochets around and then a half double crochet single crochet slip stitch and then the next one oh that's the last one oh no the green the green and then the yellow. 
So I'm going to continue to do the same thing and I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, here we go. So I finished them all off and this is what it should look like. You'll have a little bend here, but it's okay. It'll straighten out once you put your uh, bangle on the end and you'll be fine. So the next step is adding the bangle. I love these colors. These colors are so nice. So, okay, we're going to add this bangle here and I'm going to use the orange. I have one more skein left and I'm going to use the orange to crochet, to do a single crochet and add the bangle. So what happens is I'm going to go ahead and join and get my yarn and join my yarn and you can put it, you can add it anywhere you like on here. So I'm going to just add it somewhere along here. And you're going to put your put your bangle up against the uh let me see, let me back up cuz it's okay. Like this and you're going to put your needle inside and then you're going to put it also inside the bangle as well. So, you know what actually yeah, you're going to put it inside the bangle and then you're going to add your yarn. So hold them all together. Add your yarn. And you're going to just work right around the bangle. So I'm going to do my chain to secure the yarn in there. And I'm going to just pull this tight. And then I'm just going to do single crochets all along the edge in here. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to do a single crochet right around the bangle. And just keep going around. Sing, single crochet right around the bangle. And you're going to do that all the way around. And I'm still holding in my my ends here. So you're going to just add your ends right on in between there. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. And just work right over your ends. Oops. So if you can't see your stitches, like because I crochet really tight and sometimes it's hard to see my stitches so I just spread it apart and find where I'm at. Alright, this one is a little hard to get through. Get through. Let me go back up in there. Oh goodness. Alright, wait a minute. There. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm almost to the end here. And it gets a little tight once you get to the end part. So you just keep spreading it around. You just push this, push them closer to the end so they can gather up a little tighter up here. And I'm just going to continue to go ahead and single crochet. And this very last stitch here, 
what I'm going to do is do two single two I'm sorry two single crochets right in this last stitch so one and two just so I can cover up that uh, that bangle a little more and then I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch in here to close it on up um, I'm gonna get rid of that blue just put it back there for now I'm gonna slip stitch here chain and cut it on off Pull it tight and we're done with our earring so now all we have to do is cut off these strings here in the back so I have a couple of strings here I'm gonna have to cut off and then just weave in this weave in this little end here from the orange and then I'm gonna add my hook and we're we're done the spiral earring so thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope this tutorial was clear enough and everybody could understand it and uh, thanks again for watching the spiral earring love you guys bye bye